Hi, my name is Korn Ogart. If you ever wanted to get the right treatment at any time, then please listen in because we convert treatment guidelines into workflows <clears throat> and serve them right like a root plan is being served by GPS today. Um, the GPS analogy, <clears throat> excuse me, is such that a GPS is on the left and what we do is on the right. A GPS will serve you a root plan by converting the maps into a digital format. And we've done exactly the same thing, converted the guidelines into a digital format so you can be sure to be conveyed correctly and you can deviate if you want to do that. <clears throat> For example, if it says that you should have chemotherapy uh, but you don't want to have it, then it will uh, replan accordingly. <clears throat> it works by mapping out the treatment uh, from the initial uh, diagnosis until you are cured. And uh, there are a lot of steps uh, to go through and it will handle them all. And one, one such step is the genetic assessment. <clears throat> so if you treat positive, if you test positive for BRCA, you have an elevated risk, which it should take into account when it selects uh, things like which surgery you should have. If you don't test positive for BRCA, then your family member <coughs> membership uh, should be looked at. If one or more family members has had breast cancer, uh, for instance, your mother has had breast cancer and she was born at that top point in time and she was 35, 37, when she got breast cancer, then you too have an elevated risk even if you test negative for BRCA. If she was 45, you don't have an elevated risk because uh, it, uh, it says if only your mother has had breast cancer and she had it at uh, the age of 45, then you are not in any kind of risk. And it would take this information into account and many other things. <clears throat> what we'd like to you, you to do is to help us getting this tried out and maybe we can help with curing cancer. <clears throat> The point is that QRTBS technology has been developed. So we're not asking for newly developed products and finance for that. We have it already and we can use it for breast cancer. But the problem we have is that it's unbelievable in that doctors don't think that this is possible. <clears throat> but if they try it out, we hope to show that they will be able to uh, increase their treatment quality. And at least we know that they can document it so that uh, the patient will be able to verify that the treatment is optimum and in line with the treatment guidelines. And therefore we think a lot of money can be earned. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this short uh, presentation and uh, then see you out there. Thank you for listening.